high. I know. Depression can be so hard to deal with, especially when you're dealing with a breakup. I know. But that's what I'm here for. And me and you are just going to have our own little sister time and try to detox from the whole situation. I know. I know. You are feeling overwhelmed and stressed out, more than anything defeated. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, I've been there too, so me and you are just going to have to get through this together, aren't we? So, I thought that me and you, you and I, can do something like a little bit spodge, but not too spodge because I gotta get up in the morning for work, okay? So, I love you and I just wanna be here for you right now and hopefully you aren't staring too much at this face because listen sis I'm dealing with some stress myself but okay what we're gonna do first I thought we could do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe down your face you're gonna talk to me about what's going on with you I'm gonna give some advice and because you know that's what I do unsolicited advice yours truly but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe down your face and then I'm going to apply some facial cleanser and although you should you know moisten your face and then apply this and then you should rinse it off we're just gonna do it with wiping and I think it works the same. So I'm going to dampen your skin by using a wipe. And then I'm going to apply the cleanser. And then we're going to wipe it off. Okay. You go ahead and talk. From there, we'll do some other stuff. Eventually, at the end, I'm going to use another cleaner wipe just to go over your face at the end. And then we're going to brush your hair and put your hair up, which maybe I should do that first. Just to make sure that your hair isn't in the way. Because if you're anything like me, I always get facial cleanser in my hair. Like, Okay, so maybe we'll put your hair up first and then we'll do your face. And then um, we're going to do your eyebrows. Just getting like some of the excess hairs and stuff. And then, um, I have some lotion, a little moisturizer at the end. I know some people say you shouldn't, you shouldn't put moisturizer on your face after, unless it's like a facial one, but you know what? Why not? Um, I also have this really handy... Little massage, and you're like, what are you doing right now? I don't, I'm trying to relax you. That's my job right now, okay? <laughs> but, listen, that's what big sisters do. They annoy you. That's what I'm trying to do. And help you. I know. I know. Annoy, help. It's all the same when you're a big sister. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But I have this, and... We're going to do this on your back. I'm going to have you turn around. And we're just going to gossip for a little bit. We're going to share some feelings. Talk about some advice. And then we're just going to go cuddle. You know? Because I feel like we haven't hung out in a really long time. So we're going to cuddle. I want to cuddle with you. Okay? There's nothing weird about that. Nothing. Okay? So... Give me one second. You go ahead and talk. 
I'm just gonna prep, okay? I'm listening. Mm hmm Yeah, I, I totally understand. I completely understand. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I often get down myself. I'm just gonna brush your hair up so that we can put it up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we're going through things, we can often feel as if we're not getting anywhere in life. And we can get so consumed by that feeling that we completely let it destroy us in the moment. And what we don't realize is that it eventually destroys us altogether. That feeling takes over to the point where we think that everything is impossible. And that's not true. We can absolutely do anything we want to do in life. We just have to get past that feeling. But go on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dating often can cause a little bit of stress itself in the whole situation. So, I don't, yeah, I'm just adjusting. You go ahead and finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you pick one of these for me? We're just going to put your hair up real quick and continue talking. Yeah, that's the one I was going to pick for you. I'm telling you, it's so pretty. It's so you. I knew it. I knew that's the one you were going to pick. Okay, so. Continue. <laughs> I know, I get so sidetracked. You know, I think it's really just a family thing at this point. We just naturally get sidetracked. I don't. But yeah. Not always, not always, it's not always like that. Sometimes, sometimes it can seem that way when it really isn't. It really isn't that way at all. Mm hmm mm hmm But yeah, I know. I know. It can be very stressful though. I think life in general is extremely stressful. I'm telling you, life is so stressful. <laughs> Just sometimes when you feel like you're getting ahead, you get knocked at least 20 steps back. That's just how life is. So, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, I know. Um, We're just going to wipe your face down really quick. You go ahead. Yeah. You tried talking to mom about this? Excuse me. I know. I know. I ate not too long ago. <laughs> You're like, why am I whispering? Because I'm supposed to be on a diet. But I ate for like the second time. But that's between me and you. Um. Mm-hmm. 
I know, talking to mom is probably like the worst thing you could possibly do because she's just going to tell you it's going to be okay. And in the moment, it does not feel like it's going to be okay. The last thing I want to hear is it's going to be okay. Not right now. That's mom's for you, though. That is mom's for you. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, see, see that feeling right there is the one that gets you to the point where you're just like, I give up. I give up, and nobody that you don't need to give up. That's exactly what these feelings want you to do. They want you to give up. It's make or break, and if you let it break you, you're going to be broken for a long time, girl. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. I know. I know what you're feeling. If anybody knows what you're feeling, I know what you're feeling. I know. But you you have to move past these feelings. You have to. You have to defeat the feeling of defeat. I don't. You see, what it is, is often we get to a point where we think that this is it for us. This is all we're going to be. This is all we're going to accomplish in life. We're never going to do anything more than what we're doing. And trust me, once that feeling sits in, once that feeling truly, truly sets in, all you want to do is ball up and, and cry. Ball up and give up and tell yourself that this is it. This is it. This is as far in life as I'm going to go. This is all I'm going to get out of this situation. Even if it's like a bad relationship, you're just like, this is it. This is the best I can do. This is all I'm going to get out of this. This is, this is what I'm meant to have in life. And that is not true. It's so far from the truth. I can't even begin to tell you. I'm going to apply some of this on your face. It's so far, so completely far from the truth. But I understand how in the moment it doesn't, none of that matters. It just feels as if, it just feels as if this is it. And trust me, the older you get, you're going to get so many this is it moments in life that you're going to start to believe it. I promise you're going to start to believe it and it's going to get hard to pull yourself out of it. But what you're going to have to do is pull yourself out of it. And I know that sounds a whole lot easier you know, said than a little bit. A whole lot easier said than done, but but at some point you realize that you can either get up and keep trying or you can give up. Don't ever, ever give up on yourself. If there is anyone else in this world that you can depend on, I mean, you can depend on me always. You know that. You know that. But if there is anyone in this world that you should be able to depend on, it should be you. So don't ever give up on you. 
you are depending on you to get through life. Don't depend on anyone else for your happiness, for your stability, for any of that. Never, never depend on anyone for any of those things. You need to depend on you. That's all that's to it. The minute you realize that, the better off you'll be. I promise. I'm telling you, in this very moment right now, it seems as if all is lost. I'm telling you, all, all is lost. And it's not. It really isn't. It's not lost. Misplaced a little bit, but not lost. <laughs> You're like, what is the difference between lost and misplaced? Lost is when you know you're not going to find it. You know it. You know it. I know it. If my keys are lost, they gone, honey. But if I misplace something, I know deep in my memory that I know where it is. That's one of those retrace your steps type of things. Lost is you know you have no clue where the last time you had it at. Girl, I'm getting started on my lip gloss. Being lost. <laughs> I'm just wiping it off now. It's not supposed to sit that long, so I don't want to dry you out. But yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes it can most definitely feel that way. It, it it's all right though it it really is it's okay it doesn't feel like it's okay right now and i know i'm not trying to be mom i'm not trying to be mom don't call me mom don't call me mom okay <laughs> i'm don't manifest that okay i got a while i got a while but you're gonna do your eyebrows real quick. Yeah, you know, sometimes we can feel as if things are looking bleak. And the thing about depression is, is that no matter how good your life may feel in the moment, it's like our brain can always find a way to find something negative about a good thing. It always finds a negative and a positive. And if we let it do that every single time, we're going to be in a place we don't want to be. I'm not going to speak on that. It's a very sensitive subject, but yeah, I know, but you just can't. I'm not going too rough because I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want to get some of the excess hairs and go around here. Yeah. Mm hmm She's gonna use a Q tip here. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water. Just so just water. I know how earlier I said that you shouldn't talk to mom about stuff like this. 
But whenever you're feeling alone and afraid, don't be afraid to talk to someone. If you call and I can't answer right then, go try and talk to mom. Okay? Because although she can be a bit of a pain sometimes, she loves you and she cares about you. Because that's what moms do. They love you and they care about you. Even when you make it very difficult to. <laughs> so... Boyfriends, on the other hand, can make this situation a whole lot worse because what people don't know is that relationships are a job. They are a complete job, okay? People think it's just simple, in and out, over and done with, but I'm just gonna take some of these and just wipe around the face real quick. Yeah. Mm hmm. but it's okay it's gonna be okay and I'm not saying that like mom does it really is it's going to be okay doesn't feel like it in the moment because being defeated is an emotion that can completely take you over I feel like I've said that like 50 times but I'm telling you it can take over and it'll make you want to quit but you can't quit and you always got me, me, and you have friends, and there's always somebody who wants to listen. Always. So never assume that you're alone, okay? Never. You're not. I promise you're not. You're never alone. I'm listening, y'all. Okay. Yeah. I know. Just gonna moisturize a little bit. Mm hmm. Well, with me, I typically will just shut people out when I start to get, you know, how you'll call me sometimes and I just won't answer. I'll just be, I'll just watch the phone ring. I'm not going to lie. And I know that's terrible to do, especially since I'm telling you not to do that, which don't do me. Okay. Girl, don't do me. But... Sometimes it's easier to shut it down than to confront what the issue is. And that by no means, like I said, means you should do that. Don't do that. Don't. Okay? Shift your chin a little bit. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Getting your chin and stuff, rubbing your shoulders a little bit. Yeah. Mm hmm. I know. And you know what? Like I said, in life, you're going to feel that way. And sometimes it's going to be a little harder to shake than others. But what you can do is. Call me. Call me, but most of all, believe in you. 
nothing. You don't have anybody else to believe in. Believe in you. I believe in you, but that means nothing if you don't believe in you. Okay? You're capable of doing anything you want to do. Anything. So do it. You do whatever it is you want to do. Okay? Here, turn around so I can do the back. You go ahead and keep talking. She can use this little guy on the back. Might be a little loud, but I actually think it's kind of sweet. Okay? Okay. Here, here. Turn around. Okay. Go ahead. Keep talking. Mm hmm Yeah. I know. Don't cry. No, no, I don't do. I don't do well with crying. <laughs> don't cry on me. It's okay. I promise it's okay. That's why I'm here. I'm always gonna be here. I promise. I'm always gonna be here. Yeah. I know. I know. It's weird. You never cry. I can't believe this. Yeah. But I got you, okay? Nobody else got you. I got you. It just... Yeah. Yeah. I'm just moving. You have a couple straight hairs down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. This little thing is so handy. How do you go from crying to talking about it feels nice? I yeah. I know. Super handy. Mm hmm. Just getting your lower back. Mm hmm. I'm telling you, this, this is going to make all the difference. You're going to feel completely different. You're going to feel completely different in the morning. I promise you. Are. You're going to feel rejuvenated and ready to take on any and every little thing there is. Turn around. Alright, that's all. Yeah. So we're gonna get a snack and we're gonna climb into bed and we're gonna watch us some Disney and Yeah, we can keep talking if you wanna keep talking. We can talk until the sun comes up. I cure this. Yeah, but we're just gonna spend time together. Yeah. I know. At the end of this whole thing, if you don't understand anything else, you should know that I care about you and I'm here for you. Okay? It's going to be okay, I promise. Don't give up on you. Okay? If nothing else, don't give up on you. Yeah. Give me a hug. I know, so creepy. Watch my pimple cream. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out, girl. You don't want to see what's under them. That cream is covering up some ditches. Okay? Listen. Take a kiss. Listen, you're not too old to get a kiss from your big sister. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> okay. I love you and I'm here for you, okay? Now come on, let's go get us some popcorn, watch us some Disney, and talk about cute boys or girls. You know, yeah, if it ain't working with one, it's gotta work with it. No, I, you didn't hear that from me, but listen, whatever, I'm with it. I'm with it, okay?